all right you guys welcome back to a brand new video welcome back to the wolf pack as you guys can see i am in my kitchen and i am going to show you as promised a how to the simplest flounder and trout recipe ever i already have on the stove um some uncle ben's wild rice in the box not the bagged kind i love the box kind i don't know why i'm like picky but wild rice and fish is just chef's kiss sweet potato rice zucchini and the fish the flounder and the trout you guys so first thing you're gonna need is your flounder if you guys remember in the catch video i just simply took the head off of this flounder and the guts came right out and then we scaled off the scales so we're, oh oh gosh um okay so this is what we're left with a beautiful flounder we're gonna be cooking this whole i'm just gonna give it another rinse under the sink Get some more of that slime off of there. Looking all delicious. It's gonna look a lot better in just a minute. So stay tuned. Okay, two speckled trout fillets right here. Definitely make sure you pat them dry too once you get them wet. But these have held up, they're nice and firm. I mean, it has only been a day in the fridge and they've been on ice. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trout fillets going on the same pan. There you guys have it. My mama always told me to keep the kitchen clean as you go so that at the end, you're not left with an entire mess of stuff. That rice is almost done, I think. I am like, I swear, rice is my arch nemesis. I need to get a rice cooker. Actually, I have a rice cooker. It is just in the storage unit. And my fillet knife is down on the dock. So this knife is going to have to work. I'm going to be scoring, cross scoring this flounder so we can cook it whole and shove some butter and some spices straight into every single nook and cranny of this fish. It's going to be absolutely delicious. So with this knife, we're just going to make some cuts. Oh, this knife is not sharp at all. Okay, that works a little better. So we're just gonna be making some cuts. I mean, you can go go pretty deep on there, straight across. Just do that all the way down the flounder. Some nice deep cuts there, all the way down crossways. So it's gonna be a crisscross style cut. some sort of like crisscross grid on there. Keeping it clean as we go. And then once we do that, we're going to take our real butter. Don't be shy with the butter now. As long as you're using real butter, it's not as bad for you. Maybe some thin, some little thin squares just like this. And we're gonna cut a bunch of these and just shove them in every single crack that you see. Uh, and we're gonna do that on the entire flounder. So we've got that thing pretty gritted up with butter. <laughs> it's maybe like, it looks like a lot, but it's probably only maybe two tablespoons of butter. Got some minced garlic here, and I'm just gonna take maybe like a tablespoon and just sprinkle it. Sprinkle it right on top. I'm gonna squeeze half of this lemon on both fish fillets. Squeeze some straight on this flounder and the remainder straight over this trout. All right, so then on the flounder, I've got some Dano seasoning here. This is the original. I love this stuff because it's like super low in sodium and it's herby. It just goes great on fish and pretty much everything. So just give it a nice seasoning of some Danos or whatever seasoning you like to put on fish. Or All right, so our flounder is done. Now we just have our trout to work with. And as you guys could have probably suspected, do our trout a little bit healthier 
we're just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil straight on these fillets and give them a little flip. Give them a little flip in that oil. Make sure they're nice and coated. My all time favorite on trout, <laughs> lemon pepper. Can't go wrong. Let's go ahead and shake some lemon pepper on those trout fillets. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Look how beautiful. It's trout and flounder. Ooh, it's all ready. It's that easy. It's on broil. I think I just heard Andy come home, which is perfect timing because I need him to help me grate some of this Parmesan cheese. I hate grating cheese. It scares me with the grater, so. Perfect timing. Uh -huh. Hey. So embarrassing. What happened? So I'm at the, the twice the ice place mm -hmm. and you know how I can never hit the thing? Mm -hmm. Well the guy that like owns it's there and he's like uh, like taking the coins out and stuff and I was like, Alright, is it working? He's like, Yeah, let me come out there and watch you to make sure it's working. And I was like, Oh my gosh, here we go. So he's like, now just now just put pull it down a little bit. I pulled it down <laughs> and just completely like it filled the cooler up, but all the ice went everywhere and he just started dying. Wait, did too much come out? Yeah, yeah, but I missed again. Oh he was like, you gotta gosh. just do it a little. Oh, it's fun. I can't believe it. I cooked the rice. It's all about the lid. We've been missing out on a lid, huh? All right, so I'm just putting some garlic salt and some pepper. <laughs> We've got cheese and I didn't have to do anything. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle this on top. The veggies are always the least exciting part of the recipe, I know. So Andy and I went out fishing this morning again, and we're gonna go out this evening too. Um, so this is just like a midday, early dinner. We're both absolutely starving. So that being said, here's our zucchini. You guys have seen the fish, it's going in. All I gotta do is pop that sweet potato in the microwave Wait for this to be done and we will have a feast. Oh my gosh, the fish skins. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that would happen. I saved the trout skins from yesterday for the dogs and now we've got, some, I forgot they were in there and it was just on broil, but check that out. Fish is going in on the top rack. There we go. Zucchini on the bottom. I've never done that before, so hopefully that works. Just don't leave when your oven is on broil. Make sure you're close by so you can keep an eye on it. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Elo. Charlie. Bruiser. Almost got my finger bitten off. Yay! They love it. Good boys. All right, back to the fish that's on broil. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. I just had to show you guys a close up of this beautiful trout and this gorgeous flounder. The meat just separated where we did the scoring straight off of the fish. And these decadent, meaty squares. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yum, and you can just pick it straight off of here. There's no bones, all the bones are left on the fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. My zucchini, it didn't get browned, but that's okay. Um, we are absolutely starving, so this is how we're gonna eat it. Yeah. Uh -huh. I hope it's not burning hot. Oh my gosh. Perfect little bites. That is very good. Mm, I'm gonna go on. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this simple, easy, quick, under 30 minute fish recipe. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. See ya. <laughs>